Costume on. <laughs> you know, you always start by saying that, but eventually you put the fucking costume on, don't you? Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, this is, this is a piece. This is a piece that got cut for time. Show us the envelope. Uh, what? Show us the envelope. Oh yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is this is the envelope. This is a, a document or spell <laughs> for lemon. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, all the way, by the way, all of the uh, packaging for the document is done by uh, Mr. Adam Bozar back there. Wrap those documents. Shit. Beautiful. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Great. Okay. Awesome. So, so my document or spell is the live journal profile of Winter Rose Nightingale Nick. <laughs> A magic spell of evil provided by Lady Frenzy. Lady Frenzy! Thank you, Lady Frenzy. Maybe. We'll find out. <laughs> oh, there's a photo! <laughs> oh, is there... Are you going to pull up the photo? Alright, you'll get it up. Alright, I'm oh, so... <laughs> okay, here we go. Winter Rose Nightingale Nickerson, the McGiggle Goddess with... Uh, okay, well, Magico Cottis with tilde asterisk fairy ancestry asterisk tilde and a asterisk tilde heavenly voice asterisk tilde <laughs> <laughs> about me. My name, Winter Rose Nightingale Nickerson. But everyone calls me Rose. Marital status. Eternally joined in the true love and weighted bliss with my immortal beloved, my champion, my knight, my soulmate, my roommate, poet, prince. Tristan Baron Nickerson. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. Given name, I'm sure. Birth date, January 9th, 1979, in the black of midwinter. <laughs> Hair color, it's currently the exact hue of candlelit shining through a crystal goblet. Uh, a crystal <laughs> Uh, the crystal goblet uh, of vintage claret wine. Uh, my eye color, a clear, a clear crystalline gray that shifts in color from gray to blue to green to violet, and sometimes almost silver, depending on my mood and my clothes. I have a darker gray ring around my irises. Should be the mark of one with fairy blood and a natural witch. Or uh, copper. Uh, damn. <laughs> An unusual... Okay, it's the same page. An unusual lightning bolt markings in both. Oh, I'm still talking about my eyes. Okay. This entire page is about my eyes. Okay, here we go. Uh, people are always telling me that I have fairy eyes and saying that my eyes are ancient, ageless, endless, and full of wisdom. True to my vampire princess nature, this is all in, in uh, uh, title case. The entire thing is in title case, just so you know. You know that. Uh, I am a devout. I am a devout heliophobe, avoiding the sun like the plague. Oh, really? I am as pale as our gardenia in the moonlight. I am extremely pale and translucent. You can see all of my veins, skin, like moonlight on eyes. I'm always being told that my voice is angelic, haunting, like crystal bells, pure, bird-like, fairy-like, with a tilde, and enchanting. My voice always, usually, always, usually calms babies. And <laughs> And instantly even calls wild animals to me. Two ellipses in a row. I once had a wild bird sly on my finger and sing a duet with me. Just like something out of, this is still my eyes, by the way, a Disney film. Gee, I've even been, why is that? I've even been used my voice to accurately control the heights of waves at the beach. I was born with natural elf ears pointed <laughs> but had them surgically altered to look more normal when I was around nine years old. Two ellipses in a row. Now, of course, I wish to goddess that I hadn't done that. Several of my friends have seen me in the astral. <laughs> See me in the astral with wings, uh, ellipsis with a bonus two dots, sometimes fairy wings, sometimes bat wings, but always red and black and glittery. 
uh, two tildes, and then another period. <laughs> I don't like normal people, tilde tilde. I'm 24 and I look about 14. <laughs> In very year. <laughs> This always says it's become my fairy blood, Tilda Tilda. When I get angry, upset, or frustrated, I literally let out a sort of... Tilda? <laughs> <laughs> I literally let out a sort of bean <laughs> scream, which is so high-pitched that it actually causes pain to those who, <laughs> who are near me, Tilda Tilda. The... The... <laughs> Allure that tends to make most people obsessed over me and stalk me, not bragging, this is a parenthetical, not bragging here, ellipsis, ellipsis, it's just that it happens so many times, ellipsis, ellipsis, and then end curly bracket. Speaking as a fairy witch and a fairy princess who is constantly, this is still my eyes, I'm still talking about my eyes, who is constantly being told how fave I am and how fave I look, I feel that we are a fairy. We are literally chosen as a sort of liaison between this realm and fairy. That's why we're so adept with astral travel. So fair. So drawn to other things otherworldly. Ellipsis, ellipsis. Because it's in our blood. You got a frog in your eyes. Yeah. It's what we were born for. To keep the magic alive. <laughs> Here's some excerpts from my live journal. May 6th of 2005, Christopher rang yesterday. This is still in title case. My, my live journal is still in title case. Rang yesterday and asked if he, we wanted to go see Margaret show last night. Two extra tickets. Of course we went. The show was all the way down in Miami Beach, so it was quite a drive. And we ended up not getting home until 2 a.m. as we stopped for Denny's for food afterwards. Oh, yeah. not, not like, not like just to stop the Denny's and just like dance, you know, meet guys. I wore my chocolate brown velvet dress and had my hair half up, half down, in a braided crown, and when we were standing in the drinks line at the theater, a group of people behind us were having an entire conversation about my hair and how I looked like something out of the film Elizabeth Wag. <laughs> Your guess is mine. No, Elizabeth Wag. Yeah. August 21st, uh, 2005. My lesson on Friday was excellent. I was in good voice, and we worked on the last of the loser, the loser, the loser songs. We worked on the last of the loser songs. During my lesson, my sneaky little prince was posting this in his live journal. <laughs> what is this I hear? Apparently a songbird has flown into my apartment and now blesses me with her song. I shall name such an exquisite creature of loveliness. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. People like you, funny people, comedians. You sense a moment of beauty in the world and you respond like that. Tilda, 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 Tilda. Okay. Yeah, so this, this exquisite being. I shall name such an exquisite creature of loveliness. Rose. New paragraph. Melt. My prince and I went to Barnes and Noble and I got lunch. <laughs> We held the corpse at the heart of the Terry, not in Nordstrom Rack. And I got my much longed for green tea frappuccino. We also went to Best Buy, where my cute little monkey boy found himself in 
My cute little monkey boy. My cute little mon my cute little oh, monkey dear. boy found himself a PS2 game called Beyond Good and Evil. <laughs> After our sojourn to the delightful oasis of green tea frappuccinos, books of bliss, it was home to our cozy flat to snuggle up and watch more of Mork and Mindy on DVD. <laughs> I can't get enough of that human organ love. Yeah. <laughs> and make baboli pizza with pineapple and bacon crumbles. <laughs> Yum! You know that shit's fucking bacon. It's 100% bacon. It's bacon. Today has been quiet. Just tidying the flat, spending time catching up with my journal, whilst my beloved tries out his new game. Uh, uh, Frank West, Frank West, Frank West, Frank West. Okay, yeah, here we go. Okay. Yes, so, whilst my beloved tries out his new game. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> A little while ago, he buried his nose in my curls and informed me that his my hair smells delicious. Like a mix of cherries and strawberries, and that he breathes me in like oxygen. Let's move again. Let's move forward. To March 26th of 2003. Here's my pet peeves with a whole bunch of punctuation on either side. It's definitely not keyboard Bitchy girls who attack me, my friends out of spite, and their own insincerity and jealousy. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> Logical, unemotional, Vulcan type people. <laughs> Especially those who don't believe in fairy tales. Bitch girls. Also, tough girls who dress like and look like. Who, mm, who dress and look and act masculine and want to be accepted, oh. yet think nothing of attacking and trashing ultra feminine girls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> feminine guys. You look at me. I like myself. <laughs> For being too cute and glittery, too soft and girly, and too pretty and feminine. <laughs> You're too pretty. Girls who feel oh this is another pet peeve of mine. Girls who feel it's all girl, it's weird. Uh, girls who feel like they have to resort to society's screwed up image of what's beautiful ellipsis. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. I, I yep. feel like yep. a, a few paragraphs ago you were saying that women should be more feminine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm just making sure that yeah. we're all on the same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. She's fine. She's fine. These girls. These girls. My friends and I call them Britneys. Uh, bleach blonde hair, orange fake tan, or fried sausage skin. Uh, they should get that looked at. Uh, I think I think those are people that got Jimmy Franks. Uh, uh, okay, and then and then I don't know if this is an emoji. So I'm gonna read it both ways. You tell me which one you like better. Uh, colon colon shutters. Colon colon, or. Thank you. Like you just Thank you. <laughs> we're, we're all gonna do it. This was live journal. There weren't emojis yet. <laughs> <laughs> that was a dark time. Yeah. That was a dark time. Uh, oh, so that was that was one option. The other option is. Uh, You are the ultimate Wiccan. Ugh, and breast implants. I think peroxide silicone, silicone and fried skin combine to be the number one killer of female brain cells. Ugh, it really drives me nuts to see all of these fried sausage skin orange complexion from tanning beds or fake tan, bleach blonde hair, giggling and jiggling Britney 
clothes, wearing clothes that have been part of my personal style for years. Oh, shit. Uh, Biters. Yeah. Wow. Appropriate. Swagger jacket. <laughs> Fast forward two years in the future. Okay. We had a lovely time this morning and acquired a fabulous... Hmm? I don't know. Okay. And acquired... Stick it to your t shirt. Yeah. Oh, one of the t shirts. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A large belt. Uh, so, a fabulous food court. Uh, on, <laughs> oh, fair enough. Uh, on top of champagne colored floral satin brocade for a mere $10 at TJ Maxx. <laughs> And I got an incredibly sweet and romantic text message from my darling husband this morning. Aww. Oh. Oh, no. okay. oh. Oh. You are sweeter than honey. <laughs> my maiden of the mead. My vixen of the vine. You intoxicate me. I am absolutely, without a doubt, the most blessed and lucky lass in the entire world to have such a perfect, handsome, romantic, chivalrous, beloved, and such amazing, beautiful, wonderful friends! Yeah, sell it. I'm going to read a bit of Jane Austen and have a, and have a sugar-free rest! 